Hey folks, how y'all doing? JC, how's our Bushman once again? I want to talk to you about a budget bushcraft knife. This is the Schrade SEHF 56 LM. Now the L means long and the M means micarta. And they also have another one that's uh, it's just the 56 L. It just and it has the rubberized grip and it has a ballistic nylon sheath. Or they have just a SCH of 56, which is the short version. It's just the blade is about that much shorter, or that length. But this one has the micarta handles. It also has a uh, thermoplastic sheath. And it has a uh, ferro rod that just comes off on the side. And I bought this thing off Amazon for $40. And I'm glad I did. Because I've been out here making feather sticks with it I mean this thing will just carve like you won't believe and that micarta is so comfy in my hand so I'm just doing push cuts here and it's pretty lightweight it's a quarter inch thick and I even put this lanyard so because I got big hands and I even have I wear extra large gloves so I can put my uh, whole hand and that little pommel there that little hook right there it just fits so comfortably and I also go back and put th uh, two fingers on the end and do some two finger action that's what she said <laughs> and I can uh, it works great for chopping like delimbing especially like I wouldn't chop anything any bigger than probably an inch look at that effortlessly it just chops with that two finger action in the back like that when I and then if you want to do finer tasks you choke up a little farther Look at that. this is a funky limb I'm trying to cut it up but yeah you can see effortlessly and I, for forty dollars you can't beat this I even have a two hundred fifteen dollar bench made Butchcrafter 162 knife that I paid and it's the exact same profile as this it's got the saber grind with the uh, drop point if you see a knife like this folks and you're unsure what a bushcraft knife looks like this is what the blade profile looks like it's got that drop point and then that tripe of that grind so I highly recommend this especially if you're on a budget and you can't you can't beat that a quarter inch knife $40 You've got a waterproof sheath. The only thing about the sheath I don't like, that I don't care for, is if, is this belt loop. Now, my belt is a little thick, but I couldn't get it through there. So if you have a little skinny, skinny belt, it'll work. But if you got big, bigger belts, it's not going to work. You're going to have to rig some kind of dangler system, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, put some kind of D-ring in that and then make a dangler type thing. But it also has lashing points all around it. So you, there's other ways you could uh, mount this thing. You can either, you can also take these screws off here and mount this thing upwards like scout style. But man, folks, I had to do a review about this knife. I own like a dozen Shrade knives. But this one's got to be my favorite, I'd have to say now. Between this one and the uh, SCHF9 Extreme Survival Knife. I've never had a bad charade knife ever. And this is 1095 carbon steel. I mean, you just can't beat it. It's a lot of bang for the buck, folks. But yeah, I'll show you these push cuts. Like, it's just, it just effortlessly just cuts into that. And 1095 is, holds a hell of an edge. You just got to make sure you oil the blade when you're done with it. Like, I even used it. To build this uh, hand drill, there's my spindle, there's my hearth board. I'm still working on it, I haven't finished it yet. And this thing is still sharp. So I'm not even going to have to sharpen it. Yeah, that edge is not even dull at all. So, Well folks, go out and get order yours today. Or at your local knife shop. Or wherever you uh, people sell knives in your neighborhood. Thanks for tuning in. Those are Bushman signing out.